Welcome to another boyish rant. After Labour's devastating defeat at the last election, Jeremy Corbyn plans to step down as the leader. Here he is doing his best impression of E.T. Um, now five Labour MPs want the top spot. There's uh, Sakia Starmer, Emily Thornbury, Rebecca Long Bailey. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, Rebecca Long Bailey, uh, Jess Phillips, and Lisa Nandy. Labour membership is mostly working class, um, and they will have to select and vote for their next leader on April the fourth. So, without further ado, let's get down to business. First up is Sir Keir Starmer. Now, he seems to be the bookie's favourite, despite having the public image of a Bond villain and a name that sounds like a Turkish dessert. Keir Starmer was recently criticised um, for not having any analysis of the crisis of the hard left, um, which is just a phrase that really struck laughter in me, the crisis of the hard left. Um, but this did prompt the hashtag steer clear of Keir to trend on Twitter. He was the first candidate to secure enough nominations to make it onto the ballot paper. He's also the only male candidate, the only millionaire, and the only one who's a knight of the realm a knight of the fucking realm. Even though he does come across as the ideal leader, um, he still needs to learn the ability of coming across like a human being. Uh, there was a recent interview where he began referring to himself in the third person, saying stuff like uh, Keir Starmer grew up in a town outside of London. Next up is Emily Thornbury. Now, despite having served in Corbyn's cabinet as foreign secretary, she was um, extremely critical of him. Uh, she gave him 2 out of 10 for his leadership and how he dealt with the anti-Semitism claims and a 0 out of 10 for losing the election. But wouldn't it be 10 out of 10 for losing the election because you lost the election? Badly. Emily Thornbury believes she can win because she said she comes from the heart of the party, which, when she said that, I thought of the Severed Heads song, uh, which opens with the line, Who will tell my drunken friend that she will die and go to hell? Recent polls indicate that Emily Thornbury is probably going to go out in the first line of voting, um, which is probably for the best. Do I want her as leader? No. Do I trust her with property investments? No. Then there's Rebecca Long Bailey, who seems like she has a pretty decent shot at getting to the final voting round. Uh, she believes her staunch working class roots will be a major asset in the battle to be Labour leader. She has faced criticism on being too similar to the current leader, Jeremy Corbyn, even going so far as to earning the nickname Corbyn with a cunt. I would never be so crass as to say something like that. She said in a recent interview that the, what the country needs right now is a socialist leader who will work with our movement. My problem with that is that we tried your brand of socialism. It didn't work. We've lost four elections in a row now. Four elections in a row. Although one thing that she has says I that I agree with is that we need to focus on securing a good deal when it comes to Brexit instead of uh, arguing for another referendum. We've lost, all right? M moving on. There's Jess Phillips, who's been an MP in... Uh, here in my city of Birmingham, the geographical equivalent of a skid mark on the map of Great Britain. Jess Phillips has also been extremely critical of Jeremy Corbyn in the five years that she's been an MP, which isn't all that long if you want to be the leader of your party and in five more years' time, potential leader of the country. Um, but, you know, she might get that kind of attitude from being friends with Jacob Rees-Mogg. She's also been accused of playing the working class card, uh, despite both her parents having well-off plush jobs. Even going so far as prompting her father to come out to the press and say, Jess knows and works for hundreds of working class people. They are her people, just like they are my people. We brummies are very close. Fuck. That hurt to do, that hurt here, and that hurt everything else. So you have to chip a chromosome off. Last is Lisa Nandy, who has been talking up her ability to win back seats in the North as she understands the lives of the people who live there. She has been representing Wigan for a number of years and says that she, because of that, she now understands that she has a greater, deeper understanding of what the country needs. Lisa Darling, 
The United Kingdom has 66 million people in. Wigan has a third of one. Having said that, the press do kind of sort of seem to be ignoring Lisa Nandy, and I very almost did in this um, until I started doing some of the research for it. Um, I find myself, out of all of these candidates, I find myself agreeing with her the most. Um, she's. I don't think she has enough votes to win, but she does seem to be the dark horse of this competition, and she's somebody who's actually worth keeping an eye out in the future, even though the bookies have her slightly above Emily Thornbury going out in the second round of voting. Now, all five leadership candidates have agreed and acknowledged that Labour has suffered over the last few years of a lot of division and infighting. No shit! And whilst I won't weep for Corbyn stepping down, these new leadership candidates are, for the most part, products of a time when the majority of MPs were drawn from the professional, not the manual labouring classes. And as always with new MPs, there is a worry that absolute power corrupts absolute. In the first hustings, Keir Starmer said, we've had far too much division. And Jess Phillips said, the name calling has been horrendous. And they're both right, the belligerent fucking autocrats. But whoever wins and becomes leader of the Labour Party has a mountain to climb ahead of them. As we face Brexit at the end of this month, five more years of Boris and Big Ben's bastard bongs. But do try and stay chipper in these dark times. Uh, you know, I know that wood, some woodpeckers like to eat the brains of baby doves. I know that s some people in reg Switzerland regularly eat cat and dog meat. In fact, it's legal in that country. No, wait, uh, be happier. It's 2020. Try and be less bitter. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Dr. Zeus cheated on his wife uh, when she had cancer. And when she found out about it, she killed herself and he married his mistress. Wait, just, just wait here, wait here.